I am back with more makeup products that cannot be duped in my opinion. I'm going to link part one down below for you guys. But there is more amazing, unique products that I feel like these brands just can't touch. Now, some of these products these brands have tried to touch. But in my opinion, these are products that cannot be touched. The formulas, they just perform better. They perform differently and other brands cannot replicate it. The first product that I have is a primer. Now I will say, probably in K-Beauty or something there might be a dupe of this, but I haven't come across a dupe of this. This is the Freck Rich Bitch Primer. I'm just going to show you because this will show you even better than I can explain. Are you ready? This product has snail mucin, I believe. Sorry if I mispronounced that. In it. <laughs> okay, so I definitely know this is a popular ingredient in skincare. I can't speak for primers. Like I said, I'm sure this is like a K Beauty thing. So I'm sure there's a lot of K Beauty products that have replicated this, but on the American market, I just feel like there simply is not another makeup primer like this at all. Brands have not, in my experience, even tried to dupe this. So it is a unique product. If you want something like this in the American market, this is what you have to buy. Now besides the fun stretchiness of it, it actually is a deeply hydrating primer as well and it leaves a little bit of a tack behind on the skin. I'm not gonna lie, I love the way that this makes my skin feel. So not only is it a unique fun product, but it actually like works. It's a great hydrating product before any makeup over top. So if you are looking for a primer at Sephora that's unique and you can't find a drugstore alternative for, I gotta go with this. Very unique. The next product that I have is another base product and a lot of brands have tried to dupe this. So I know a lot of you are going to probably name some in the comments, but I'm telling you, in my opinion, none of them that have tried to dupe this are quite as successful. This one is superior in formulation. It's the Say Glowy Super Gel. They have a couple different shades. This is the best, the best of the glowy gels. I'm gonna go ahead. So this one, I like the one in the shade Star Glow. It's a bit of like a whiter glow to it. I'm just going to massage this into the face. In my opinion, this is one of the few glowy bases that isn't glittery. I think it looks really nice on its own. I mean, it is a bit much of a glow on its own for my type of skin, but for the most part, the glow is just a way. What the f but I feel like so many brands have tried to replicate the glow that this product has, but they just look too metallic or glittery on the skin. I feel like the glow on here is really f the glow on this one is just really refined and it's so lightweight because of the gel consistency of the product. So in terms of like a glowy gel product, the say is the best. It cannot be duped. For me, it's worth the money. Next up, I have a couple of concealers. The first one is a very pricey concealer stick, but it's so good. This is the Tom Ford Soft Matte Traceless Concealer. A partner to my number one favorite traceless foundation. That was this continue. I'll never let that one go. You'll never hear the end of it. But they do have it in a concealer form and it is amazing in a concealer form. She is just very pricey, hence my tone lift there a second ago. So I'm just gonna start off by doing this. Now, this is such a beautiful concealer. It is truly traceless. It's one of those products where if you don't have any makeup and you just want to reduce the color of the darkness on the under eyes, you can literally just use a finger and blend this out on the under eyes and it is undetectable other than it actually evening out the color on the under eye truly looks like skin. And a lot of times I'll use this on no makeup makeup days. You know, I'll use it for the darkness. I'll use it for some red spots, some color correction, 
acne coverage, that type of deal. Look at that, just a little bit on the under eyes. It's so smooth looking. Finally, my zits and that dang drunk elephant moisturizer are starting to go away. But this is amazing for spot concealing. I really love it for that as well because you just take a little bit on your finger and pat it over and it soaks into the skin like butter on a warm piece of bread. So good. And I'll use it on my nose too because I feel like sometimes foundations kind of have trouble on the nose. So I'll use this and it aids it. It is truly a magical coverage stick. Just, it has the magic touch to complete and cover what you want and it's so traceless. It's so expensive. I don't talk about this a ton. Tom Ford, man. But, oh, they did it with this. There's not another kit stick concealer like this that is so creamy and skin-like. Another really good concealer that I wanted to share with you that I don't think I've had another product quite like and not enough people talk about. Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Now these have different kind of colors because they're supposed to brighten the eye and have color correction. I'm gonna mix two shades, melon and seashell because seashell is number three and it is neon on me. And then melon is more of like a orangey color corrector. So the story about this concealer is I used to use this when I was a bridal makeup artist and I would wake up in the wee hours of the morning and I just wanted to put a little something on my under eyes. This was the time of COVID so I'd have a mask on and I would just do a little bit of concealer here. I wouldn't even set the concealer and it wouldn't crease. My under eyes look incredible with this product so I'm just gonna I just put a little bit of that and I'm blending it out with my A506. You can see how bright the colors are. If you're not looking for brightening, you're gonna have to go pretty deeper than you'd expect with this. Definitely make sure you're swatching it because it pulls so much brighter on the skin than you would expect. But this is such a thin concealer that just brightens up the under eyes. But the catch with this one is it does not crease. I always say it doesn't matter what concealer you got, a little bit of creasage is gonna happen just because you have these lines here. That's the way the face is. But this is one of the very, 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 very few concealers on the market that sets itself and doesn't crease. It's crazy. Let's get a little bronzed. Now this product, there just isn't another product like on the market. It's like a one of one kind of product. It's the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. And from the moment I used this, I just knew this was a one of a kind product. So this product is very unique in that it is pretty much like a skin tint bronzer. It is a sheer bronzer. You can just tell with the shade light medium how it melts into the skin. It doesn't give a lot of color payoff, but in the best way possible, it veils a layer of bronze over the skin with very minimal effort. And normally I'm not on board with the sheer bronzer. I like a little bit of color. I want it to do its work, but look how natural this looks on the skin. I cannot name another product that is like this. If you can, please let me know because I want to try more like this. But in my opinion, not only is it a unique product with how almost sheer, like clear it is, but it still adds the perfect amount of color to look completely effortless. It also sits on bare skin like none other. So just a little bit of concealer and then this to add some shape to the face. Marvelous. This is a product where it's 100% worth the money because I just don't think you're getting a formula like this anywhere. And it just makes so much sense. There's so many occasions where a product like this is necessary, in my opinion, <laughs> in a routine. It's that good. The next product that I have is actually kind of the opposite of the Makeup by Mario because it's got so much pigment. But this is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Sticks and a lot of brands have tried their hand at a bronzer stick like this but nobody is as creamy as this product. So this just runs on the skin like liquid. It's so good but not like the LYS where you don't have control. It has enough dryness to it where there's enough drag to where you have control but it's still super malleable 
and it also blends in like butter. Now the opposite of the Makeup by Mario, be careful with how much you apply. It has a good amount of pigment, so it almost adds a little bit of coverage, if you will. But when it comes to bronzer sticks, Rare Beauty is not the first of its kind. Bronzer sticks have been around forever. However, I haven't come across a bronzer stick that has such a perfect malleability. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's perfect in that how easy it is to blend, how easy it is to apply. But it isn't one that's not going to like not set. It has some hold and grip onto the skin as well. And other brands I feel like have tried to create this really blendable, easy to use cream bronzer stick formula. But they haven't been able to touch just how well Rare Beauty mastered it. This is truly one of the best bronzer sticks on the market. And you cannot argue that with me. It might be the best. I'm always toggling between this and nude sticks but even when I think about this in relation to nude sticks it's just different it hits different it cannot be duped this next product unfortunately cannot be duped and will never come back again this is a limited edition product but I had to mention it it's a product I haven't mentioned really ever on my channel since I reviewed it but it's one of those off-camera products that I use a lot this is from Dior it's the stick glow hydrating blush balm in the shade rose glow I need Dior to come back with this now this is such a unique product this is a go-to on my no makeup makeup days it's pretty much a balm which I'm normally not into balms on the cheek but this one is so special. It's nice and hydrating. It has that juicy glow because it's a balm. It's a non-offensive balm. I've been offended by a lot of balms on the cheek. I feel like this one doesn't feel sticky. It applies the perfect sheer layer of a pink color. I need them to come out with this again. It's kind of like almost a pH color. It's not. I don't really believe in the pH stuff. But that's how this works. That's how pretty this pink looks it's so sheer and natural and you can see the juiciness on the cheek and I'm telling you on a no makeup makeup day like the ultimate no makeup makeup look for me this Fenty concealer or the Tom Ford concealer that was good with the makeup by Mario bronzer and then this on the cheek oh is it a Morgan video without dropping something anyways those three wow I'm just this is a product that I've been grieving for a long, long time. Has Dior ever launched something like this ever again? I use it all the time off camera for that no makeup makeup look. And it just, I've never used a balm product that I've enjoyed. Like I've enjoyed this Dior and I feel like it's so unique. It looks so unique. Look at this perfect wash of color on the cheek. This was an LE item that like, I want it back. Okay, I really don't think any products could touch the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. The products individually, right? There's nothing unique or special about them, but the colors that Patrick Ta has in the line are so pretty and flattering. And these colors just work in tandem with so many different products underneath and with each other. And you can wear the cream alone, you can wear the powder alone. It's not a unique idea, but the formulations they just flow, they work with other products in a way that a lot of other formulations can't touch. I'm going to use the shade She's Flush today. Now, Patrick actually recommends that you use the powder first and then the cream. I like to do the opposite, it just goes against the grain too much for me. Now, I know this is a product that probably is the most dupable in this video, but this is the one I always come back to. There's something so special in this formulation to where it just does what you want it to do. This laid down the perfect level of pigment. It's kind of flat, but in a still very flattering and natural way. Look how pretty that is. Like, you, come on. And then this never ever acts funny with any products underneath. And then you go in with a little bit of the powder and it will set it it will add a little bit more color if you would like and you can do the opposite as well to get more of a glowier look on the cheek but this formula is so versatile it works good with any other makeup product his color range is flattering like no other brand 
probably the most dupable product in this video, but in my opinion, no one has touched the superiority that this has. I have a setting powder next. This is the best number one pressed setting powder in the world. Not even being dramatic, like I'm serious, it's the best pressed setting powder in the world. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Blurring Under Eye Powder. Now, the packaging, this packaging, horrible, but other than that, what is inside is the best. Where's my lay one? This is the medium one. Funny enough, if you're watching this, I got a question the other day how the medium looks. It's a little bit deep on my skin tone, but I can make it work. This is not a great under eye one. Anyways, it is, however, the most blurring pressed powder, but still so lightweight. It, they market it as an under eye powder, but truly I like to use this everywhere. Uh, the medium is a little bit dark on me right now. This is more of a summer color for me. So I'm just going to be pretty light with this. Because I don't know where my light one is. That was a tragic mistake. Okay, let me go get my light one. This is my summer color. <laughs> BRB. Light is better for me. So to answer your question, the medium does work for me, but in the summer. And never on the under eyes. More so just to set the outskirts of the face. But this is one of the best pressed powders for the under eyes. It's feather light, but still very, very blurring. And I always feel like a pressed powder, it just looks a little bit dry. Not this one, the best, cannot be duped. There's not another powder that is so blurring, so lightweight, but still in a pressed form, like the Pat McGrath. Okay, the last product that I have is a lip product. And to put it simple, I just haven't come across a product with this consistency, with this feel, and I love it. It's the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. Now glosses, the plumping, the hydrating, they're all a dime a dozen, right? But I just feel like nothing has touched this, nothing is quite like this. It's just a little, it's got a little tweak in there that makes it a little different. This is in the shade Velvet. I love the smell of it. It's fruity deliciousness. I love the applicator. There's not any applicators out there quite like this. It completely smooths over the lines of the lips. It's nice and thick on the lips, which is what I like. Some people don't like that, so do keep that in mind. It's glossy. It's glassy. It's special. I honestly just haven't come across a product that is quite like this, looks quite like this, feels quite like this, has a little bit of a plumping sensation, but nothing too overwhelming. I think it's a one-of-a-kind lip product, which is very, very hard to do in today's market. So, in my opinion, this Lawless Forget the Filler cannot be duped. But a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of brands are trying it. And then, looks-wise, here is the final look for today. I will have everything that I mentioned in the video and that I'm wearing for today down below. So, let me leave you guys with a question. What products in your makeup collection cannot be duped? In your opinion, right? Like a lot of brands have tried to dupe the products that I'm talking about, but I just feel like these have a little je ne sais quoi to them that just makes them so special. Make sure you guys check out part one if you haven't already. These are all products that I really love, they're really unique, and I had a lot of fun creating this video. So thank you guys so much for liking it, subscribing to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.